everyone. Today our thought for the day is based upon these Bible verses. So we are in Luke 1 verses 30, 57 to 58. When it was time for Elizabeth to have her baby, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy and they shared in her joy. As you probably know, if you've been following the last few days, we've been following Elizabeth and Zachariah. Um, they were blameless and they were written. They were called blameless, observing all of God's commands, and yet they still could not conceive. Angel Gabriel came to Zacharias and told him about John. And it follows it on by saying in verse 25, Elizabeth found out. When she found out, she was utterly over the moon because her position in society was reinstated. I wonder if perhaps because they were seen as blameless and observing of all of God's commands, she not only got the reward of a son, of a child, sorry, but she also got a son and even more, a son of great name. As we know, he grew to be John the Baptist. But what I want to focus on is verse 38. Her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy and they shared in her joy. I wonder what that meant in their culture. Does it, was it like some sort of baby shower as we think it, where people are gathering together to celebrate this birth with a party and probably not with the, uh, the silly games that I remember playing at us, at mine. What I want to ask you is, do we share in one another's joy? And if so, how? Do we share gifts, messages? We throw parties for one another? John and I certainly noticed as soon as we had Cassie, everyone wanted to meet us and wanted to see her, even the old dears and nasters. And it took forever for us to leave Cogs because we, want, we felt that everyone wanted to share in her and in us. And that meant so much to me. And that was where I first truly felt that we were sharing our joy with someone and with the family. We often share weddings and births, baptisms and funerals. But I wonder, what about the mundane? What about the day-to-day -day challenges? Do you feel you share them? Where were these relatives and neighbours who were sharing in her joy at the birth? Where were they before? Were they supporting her and loving her and praying with her through the difficulty in conceiving? Are we there for the hard parts for one another? Are we there for the elderly? down our road who's feeling very lonely or the mum in front of us having a toddler thrown a temper tantrum or the dad or family members trying to juggle working from home and and also homeschooling. I don't doubt for a second that it is easy. It's not. And often it takes a great deal of sacrifice and time and effort and love. But it gives such depth to friendships and relationships. It supports each other. And most importantly, we step in the friendships that God wants us to have with one another, where we're there for one another. We can't do it all, especially as so many people are hurting. Perhaps one might think even more so now. But what I feel God is asking us in this verse is, what I feel he wanted me to say was, what about you? Is there anyone that he is bringing to your mind right now that he wants you to touch base with, that he wants you to share someone's joy or their difficulties in what they're facing right now? Has anyone come to mind?